What's going on my block buddies? This is block content and this would be the perfect time to talk about this awesome new idea that something cool might be coming to the Nintendo Switch. There's all been rumors, you know, all, all these weeks we've been hearing stuff about virtual console stuff. We've been hearing stuff about GameCube games supposedly arriving on the Nintendo Switch, which is to me extremely exciting because, you know, I was there and the GameCube days were so amazing and I just want those, you know, the resurgence of the GameCube to happen again on this new Switch console. Console. And there are so many things to take into account with this and so many things to discuss like, you know, could it mean that you can take GameCube games on the go, right? Because that's the big question. But other questions are, you know, what exactly would be, you know, a port? What could be a remake and what could be an HD remaster or something like that? So... I just thought it would be very interesting to kind of talk about these little things a bit. And the first one that I really want to discuss here is Super Mario Sunshine. Now, that game was kind of divisive when it released back in the day because everyone was clamoring for this awesome Super Mario 64 sequel. And, well, you gotta, you gotta see it from Nintendo's point of view, right? You don't really want to make Super Mario 64 again. You don't want to do the castle again. You don't want to do maybe even necessarily the Mushroom Kingdom again. Um, they, you know, created a whole new world for Super Mario Sunshine for Mario to jump and, you know, hop around in. But... <laughs> There was something really new about this game, and that was the inclusion of the gameplay mechanic known as Flood, which is known as the Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device or something like that, if I remember that correctly, yeah? Uh, anyway, that mechanic was so cool because it meant that Mario had this water pack on his back that could spray water across the whole world and you could clean up the mess that the enemies left, which was a big plot point in the entire game and it worked very well. It was actually very amazing. That game worked on so many levels, but when it was released uh, and even by me, uh, people weren't really having any of it. You know, they expected the big world from Super Mario 64. They expected that the way that game worked and they expected multiplayer, stuff like that. Um, but as the years kind of went on, Super Mario Sunshine got a more pleasant uh, kind of, you know, sort of nostalgia feeling. And whenever I play this game back now, it really, really holds up. And even graphically, this game still looks pretty darn amazing, even if you look at the water and stuff like that. But also, there's just so much in that game. You know, the worlds are so different from anything that we've seen in a Mario game before. The whole vibe of the game is so different. And Mario's abilities in that game are so different as well, because you can... You can do all these, you know, crazy stuff with a flood. Um, there are even flood, you know, power-ups that change what it can do. Like, it can rocket jump into the air, and, uh, you know, it can make you run at ex incredible speeds. And that was just so cool uh, in that time. Um, and none of us really noticed the full potential of that game. And what I really want to talk about today is the full potential of games right here. Because, as it turns out, these games might be coming to the Nintendo Switch very soon. And with that, I mean an HD remaster, maybe a direct port, so it will still be in standard definition, or something like a sequel, right? And it's been rumored that the virtual console for the Switch will be in full swing, which would probably mean that there will be not be like extra content for this game, uh, and possibly it will not even be released in HD. Um, but you gotta, you gotta think, right? These rumors, could they maybe point to something else? You know, if you start to think about what they're doing with Mario Kart, uh, with Mario Kart 8, and sort of making a pseudo Mario Kart 9, or Mario Mario Kart 8.5 or something, uh, it's kind of weird if you think about what could they still be doing with these engines, with these games that they've already made. They've done so well in the past with Twilight Princess, and then of course also with The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and they've done such an amazing job that I think that maybe it's time for that next level, right? Maybe it's time to not just port a game and make it an HD, you know, remaster of the game and update the textures and stuff like that because Mario games don't necessarily really need that remaster all that much. Mario games just need more content, right? We need more Nintendo stages in Mario Maker. We need uh, more, you know, stuff in our, in our Mario games. We need more levels to play. And I think that in Mario Sunshine's case, I don't necessarily think a sequel 
would be good because I think that they've kind of abandoned the idea of a sequel ever since Galaxy was announced, right? And Galaxy got that sequel. How weird would it be like to have a sequel to a game that has already sort of had a spiritual successor and that had a sequel as well? That'd, <laughs> that'd make my head spin quite a bit. But what I think that they could do and what I really want them to do is, you know, they release this virtual console, right? And you can get the games from the GameCube, but maybe there will be some extra content, right? Maybe it's HD, maybe the textures have improved a little bit, maybe uh, the game even works with some slight, you know, touch functionality, something like that could really, really work with a new Switch controller. But I think most importantly of all, what if they fix some stuff? What if they add some stuff that could still have, you know, could still be around somewhere? You know, there are rumors that there was so much in Mario Sunshine that was cu that was kind of cut, cut content. So uh, maybe stuff like the actual volcano level where you face Bowser, that was supposed to be an entire world, just like the other levels, right? With multiple shine sprites to collect and maybe maybe assets of that still lie around, right? Uh, so supposedly Yoshi's role in the game was supposed to be a lot bigger as well. And supposedly, like they say, with every Mario game, you were supposed to be playing as Luigi at some point in time as well. And I really like this game. I like that it has an emphasis on story and even voice acting and stuff like that. I thought it was really big for the Mario franchise and they never really went, you know, that scale ever again, which was kind of sad. Um, but I do think that if it's not going to be a sequel, I think we need some extra content right there. I think they're doing that for, for the remakes of, you know, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Um, there are some new things in there, you know, they can still dive into the code of that game and kind of mess around with some stuff and add some stuff that they were planning in the game, but is not really gonna happen, you know, in the original version due to time constraints and stuff like that. So to me, this would be the perfect opportunity to not re-release a game in a new package for the full price, but say, hey, this is Virtual Console, you know, plus or something. What if a Virtual Console successor happens? And it's like, remember these games that you love? You can now play Super Mario Brothers for the NES in HD. It's just that simple. Maybe, maybe there's some other functionality with some button layouts and stuff like that. Maybe there are safe states or, or anything to that effect. And, you know, just think about Super Mario Sunshine and what, what it could mean for that game, because essentially it could probably mean all that cut content would just be back in the game. Maybe we would get a true 60 frames, you know, 1080p Super Mario Sunshine game. And I know there's a lot of people out there that already sort of have something like this uh, with emulators, with stuff like that. Um, that's not really... Uh, what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about here is the actual virtual console that will appear on the Nintendo Switch. I have high hopes for this and if they, you know, go to the next level of the virtual console, they could be doing so much more for their games, not just, you know, bringing us those sweet member bears, but just something like um, you know, creating something bigger, something better than the game they've already released. So exactly like Twilight Princess HD and Wind Waker were for the Wii U. And those those were tremendous, you know, remastered, which totally changed the way we view those games. I mean, the Wind Waker already looked fantastic back in the day and it holds up today, you know, as one of the best games visually on that you know in that time frame but they managed to make it look even more beautiful some parts not so much I'm talking about lighting shaders on Toon Link but um, most of it is looking incredible and I think that they could do the same thing with Super Mario Sunshine because you know in, in all honesty the graphical style of Super Mario Sunshine is extremely similar to something like, uh, you know, The Wind Waker. It was kind of cell shaded Not extremely, but it had hints of that, which I really loved. They messed around with a bunch of games on that system. And, you know, something like Luigi's Mansion looked very, very realistic, um, you know, in its scenery. But something like Mario Sunshine looked more, you know, almost cell shaded in its cartooniness and its vibrantness. And that's what uh, I think Wind Waker did well. And I think that if you do an HD remaster of Super Mario Sunshine, that those graphics can really pop. You know, Mario Sunshine was all about the sun. It was all about the water and all about the waves and, you know, a tropical island. And I don't think that it would be that weird to put that game on a system that can make the water look even more vibrant and reflective and that could make the sun 
uh, you know, bounce off, you know, uh, deflect off everything in the world in the beautiful Isle Delfino even more than it already did in the game. I think that, you know, new lighting shaders and stuff like that could really do the game a lot of good and, you know, there are there are tiny things in the game that people want fixed. Um, you know, this, this tedious hunt for coins and stuff like that. I think they could do a lot of things to change that as well. We've seen this with the new Crash Bandicoot game. And it's weird to say this, but I'm a big fan of the PlayStation franchise Crash Bandicoot. I actually grew up with that, with those three games, you know, the, the trilogy actually, a lot. And seeing as they are, you know, resurrecting Crash and doing all these cool new things with his character and the entire trilogy is getting remade. Uh, and it looks so good, you know, the lighting shaders, the fur, everything like that. And it makes you wonder, you know, what if Nintendo really picked up that kind of a that kind of a style for a game like Super Mario Sunshine, right? Um, just think about the possibilities. I, I just want to know from you guys right there, what do you think Super Mario Sunshine could, you know, potentially bring to the Nintendo Switch? Um, do you think, do you want some new content in that game? Will you play it again? You know, d does this kind of ignite some sort of feeling inside you that you really want to replay Super Mario Sunshine? I hope I did because that game's really awesome. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of, of the idea of Super Mario Sunshine HD or Super Mario Sunshine 2 or Super Mario Sunshine, you know, the remastered Switch Virtual Console Plus version. Uh, and just let me know in the comments. I'll see if I can respond if it's very original or awesome. And most of the time, I just do it anyway because I like you guys so much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was Blocked Content. And as you know, we have all the coolest analyses and gameplay videos and discussions about Nintendo games and, of course, about the upcoming Nintendo Switch system. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. And if you're not already part of this amazing family right here, you can click the subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys are kind of hesitant and about you know subscribing to things and what does it really do try it click the subscribe button here for block content and we'll be in your feed like we'll be like, if we make an awesome new video kind of like this one and you're just you know roaming around the YouTubes you'll see us and we'll be like hey this is block content <laughs> and you're watching because you're awesome and now a part of our family so hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below you know, let me know what your ideas are in Super Mario Sunshine HD, and we'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more Nintendo Switch news.